Gamer the Great, welcome back to another exciting episode of the Hexathlon Season 6. Today we are picking up mostly where we left off last episode. Um, we finished off Route 12 and we came into... Kumarine City. Um, and uh, yeah, so I did end up, I think uh, right here maybe, I got a hollow clip from Serena that she's waiting for us at the gym. But I haven't done a whole lot of other... Exploration. What you got going on here? Our children around the world have collected many different kinds of incense. Incense. What is? Oh, yeah. Some of these are like evolution type. Um, uh, boost power grass type moves. Boost the power of psychic type moves. We don't have a ton of money, but some of that I get. I guess potentially, if we you know don't have any other things to potentially give like Olorin, which. In fact, I <clears throat> I totally forgot that Olorin was like one level away from evolving last episode too. So we, we got like all of our other starters all excited about evolving, and then uh, totally forgot about Olorin. And I know he's been he's mostly useless, but we'll uh, <laughs> we shouldn't forget about it. So what is this? I'm so happy to be able to ride the monorail every time I go to the Pokemon Center. Oh right, this city's like broken in half or something, right? Okay, so there's like nothing of use on this half of the of the island. Um, okay, well, I guess let's jump on here, and, uh, I think, it was Serena said she was gonna be waiting, ooh, wait, hold on, what's going on here? What is going on? Why, hello, Tort. Congratulations, I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Rain for the Trainer, or a Strong Bond with your Pokemon? A Strong Bond? It's only a hypothesis, and I think the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is key to Mega Evolution. But what is bond? Is this bond exactly? And why are examples of mega evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. Uh, did we ever determine if mega evolution is tied to Xerneas and... Huh. Yeah, I don't remember that from before. Uh, the more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Of course, Deanth is just talking at her butt. She doesn't know what she's doing. Uh, oh, that's right. I came here to give you this. You came here to give me... You're just hanging out in a random cable car station waiting for me to eventually show up so you could give me fly? It seems beneath you, Professor Zickamore. Bonds, they really are important to us all, aren't they? Well, I'm acting. But when I'm acting, I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. All I think of is oh not I don't Deantha, I do not care. Oh never mind me, I'm just babbling about my own things. Yeah, I realize that and you're wasting my time. <laughs> I do not care about you acting and all the other crap. Please talk to the person at the camp. Oh, okay. Well, that seems unnecessary. Welcome, will you be riding the monorail? Yes. <laughs> Can you just let me walk all the stupid thing? Whatever. Alright, so let's ride the monorail. It should take us to the other half of Cormarine City, and then the gym battle, potentially. Which would be exciting. I don't remember... Is this the grass gym? I don't remember which gym is in the city. I feel like it might be the grass one. Uh, let me heal really quickly. Did a little bit of training. Not really a whole lot. I just got everybody up for level 36. Um, because half of them were, half of them weren't. So we just did that real quick. Got everybody except for all the up to level 36, because I forgot... Crap, I was totally supposed to evolve Olor in last episode, too, and uh, did not do that. So, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and attempt to do that uh, today. In fact, hopefully we'll do that in our battle with Serena. Um, so, if we find the gym... Oh, probably not this way. Probably talking to that lava system will be of use to us at some point, but... Uh, looking for the... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so it'll be the grass gym. All right, and Serena. I'm sorry, I'm late. So, could you show me in Mega Evolution? Of course, whether you use Mega Evolution in battle or not is entirely up to you, but I'd like to know what the potential of a Pokemon really is. Yeah, we'll Mega Evolve for you, baby. Don't worry about it. Alright, so Serena has only got three Pokemon still. Alright, her Meow Stick. Alright, I think I threw Olorin up front. Yeah, sure did. Um, but I don't think Olorin probably has a whole lot it can do against a Meow Stick, so... What we're gonna do, we need to get like Shadow Ball on him or something. I don't know, once he evolves, he'll actually be part Psychic type and then we can worry about it a little bit more. Let's grant her wish. Let's go ahead and get Leonardo out here. <clears throat> and we'll be able to Mega Evolve and then we can uh, go ahead and take out. Oop, 
faked out anyway. All right. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and Mega Evolve and Psychic Type, so we'll throw up the bite. Leo's Blastoid is reacting to the Mega Ring. I kind of really like the way they frame that. That's cool. All right, so now we have Mega Blastoise. Oh, yeah. Uses Disarming Voice, which I believe was super weak the last time it was used against us. Looks like. It's critical hit and it did almost nothing. Yikes. Wow, that was a, that was a weak bite there, Leo. <laughs> All right, let's throw up, uh, let's throw up the surf here. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, the instant goes down, probably gonna bring in, well, what, what else does she have? Oh, over level 36, nice. Um, oh, Absol. You switch Pokemon. Does anybody have anything that would be useful against Absol? I mean, like particularly useful. Obviously, anybody could potentially handle it. Um, hmm. Let's bring in Klongar. He can't Mega Evolve now that Leo has, but that'll be fine. That'll be fine. I do need somebody with like dedicated fighting types on it. I know we've got Kanan after last episode. And Bandito actually has uh, fighting type moves as well. Uh, let's just throw up the pedal dance. Um, Bandito's got him as well, so we just need to get somebody. I mean, they're both on the team, or at least Bandito is. Uh, Kanan is more or less. Um, yeah, we'll just stay in for Frogadier. Um, but uh, yeah, we were, I guess once Ray gets Sacred Sword. Because, I mean, we've got, most of our team is, like, the core team. And basically, we'd have one slot that's basically left up to rotation. Now, if if, uh, if needed, like, if we're going into a fire gym or something, then we'll put, you know, Klungar away or, or whatever. But, uh, all right. So we take down Serena. As a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. As she cries into her hands. It is your destiny. Oh, right. Ulderin's evolving. Nice. What? Yeah, I know. I know he's evolving. Go ahead. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Ooh, and we actually also, well, um, might as well real quick here go ahead and evolve Sherlock, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I did take a look, and there are a couple of moves that Togetic can, can, can learn from this point on, but honestly, there's nothing there that I'm really actually interested in. Um, and Olin wants to learn the more Mystical Fire. Ooh. All right, so what is Mystical Fire? Level 65 power, user attacks, breathing, special hot fire. This also lowers the target special attack stat. Ooh, ooh, uh, I will learn it. Um, let's see. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what to do with Ulrin anymore. Um, let's get rid of Howl, I guess. We need to look, we need to look at, um, what is this thing, a Delphox? We need to look at Delphox's Ulrin's stats now that it's evolved. Because despite its nature, even though we set up from Vandal Town at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? Well, I caught more than three Poke or more than two Pokemon, Serena. I mean, you have your starter and two other Pokemon. It's not surprising that you <laughs> lose in battles. All right, let's quickly look at Olorin while we're here. Yeah, so even with, um, because he's, yeah, he's an adamant nature. So he's raised attack and lowered special attack. Special attack is still way higher. So... You know, we're not getting a, a physical attacking Delphox anyway, so yeah, getting rid of Howl and Flame Charge and stuff like that. Just, you know, knowing that, you know, Olorin's going to be way weaker than he should be, but whichever. Uh, okay. But it's good to know that we should give up on that dream of a mixed attacking. Okay, so Olorin is actually going to be pretty decently suited. Well, right, it's a gas grass gym, not a... Not a bug gym. I was gonna say, well, hello. but yeah, it's a grass gym. So let's head in here and take on the gym, shall we? Don't really need to go back and heal after that bout. 
All right, this is the vine swinging one and everything. Got it. All right, let's do this thing. Let's get our new. Uh, ooh, and actually, while we're like like I was saying, so I was looking at um, looking online, and Sherlock does involve using the the shiny stone. Um, and while there are moves that Tojitik can learn, um, there's really nothing that I'm, like, waiting for. Like, there was nothing on there that, that I was interested in. Um, and, and while Tojikiss can't learn anything at all, um, once we find... I need, I need to Google where the move relearner is. Um, but once we do that, we can probably take Sherlock over there and get him some moves. Like, Air Slash would be some good stab. Um, it, it's kind of odd that... The entire line doesn't learn a single fairy type move on level up. Like, there's no good moves in this entire family's line. It's very, they don't get a single stab move. No flying or no fairy moves at all. It's very strange. So, pretty much everything is going to have to be move relearner or, I guess, probably egg moves, which we can't do, and, and things like that. So, that's a little disappointing. But, um, I think that's what we ended up having to do for Sherlock in season four anyway, probably. Because he knew Air Slash and stuff like that, so we probably must have taken him to a mover learner to do that anyhow. Um, and maybe we'll find a TM or something that we can use as well. In fact, let me look at let's, let's look, quickly look at our TMs. Um, Infestation, Return, Cut, Protect, Venus Shock, Shadow Claw, Rock Tomb, Flash, Power Up Punch, Low Sweep. Ooh, Leo can learn Power Up. But again, that boosts physical attack, and neither Leo nor Olorin are going to be physical attackers. Uh, Flash, I don't want to use Shadow Claw. Yeah, well. Um, alright, nothing real exciting, I guess. Okay, well, let's keep on keeping on. There we go. Oop, nothing this way. Just there to waste my time. Let's see. Here we go. Trainer this way. Come on, come on. Alrighty. First grass trainer in the gym today. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got. Now, everybody's level 36 now. I honestly don't know what level... Oh, semi Sage. This will be a pleasure. Um, I don't know what levels to expect in here. I honestly didn't look up anything about this. <laughs> it wasn't until we got to the door that I realized it was the grass gym. Okay, level 32. We'll probably be pretty decent levels then for uh, for taking this on today. First battle with Oleron of Oleron Evolved. Takes decent care of the semi Sage, so that's good at least. If, if at this point, Fully Evolved Olorin can't handle itself, I'm not going to box him because he's the starter and we don't have another fire type anyway, so it wouldn't be really worthwhile. But, my God, if I mean, he's not bulky enough to, like, be able to do, like, three-hit KOs. Like, I don't trust him in that format. And so it's kind of like, if he can't start taking care of himself now, I know, I, I mean, it's not his, his fault. He was born with a bad nature, but um, still... Still, it's kind of like on a Nuzlocke type team, I, I, I need Pokemon that can handle themselves, and I, so yeah, it's a little frustrating. Uh, but uh, have one of your starters be the weak link. But at least we have like Leo and and well, we've got two other starters on the team, Leo and Klungar, so we can't complain too much. It's it's ended up working out okay. Um, and in instances where fire is going to be useful, um, then then that'll be fine. Um, we can probably even just flame charge this thing. Although that's gonna make physical contact. We're gonna take an iron bar next. Yeah, stupid. Super effective. My speed rose. But yeah, we take some iron barb damage. But not too bad. That'll be fine. Alright, Pharisee goes down. Okay. They do have more. Lombre. Um we'll keep battling. I guarantee our special attack is not high enough to kill this thing. Um, with the, I guess, neutral? It'd be, yeah, it'd just be neutral. It might be okay. We'll see. Probably not a one-hit, though. I wouldn't think. Yeah, no. Barely over, uh, barely over half there. Water sport lowers power's weakness. Or, power. Um, okay, so then, in that case, we do have, Psyshock is now stabbed, so let's give that a shot. See if that kills. Yes, it does. All right, all right, all right. Beautiful. Okay, that'll work. I'll take that. A uh, Carvine, a little torching Pokemon. Um, I 
let's uh, let's switch a ratio in. We do have an ice type, so since firepower is weakened, um, let's bring in her ratio. Let's see if we can't uh, take care of Carvine here. Uh, let's throw the return up. Boom! Super effective. That'll do. That'll do. I almost I have forgot that we even uh, that we had another choice there. So that works. Maurice goes down downtown. Over this way. No, no, no. There we go. Make sure we're covering all of our bases. Um, hmm. This isn't where we came up. Can we climb down? Is there a trainer for us to battle down here? Looks like there might be. I was gonna say, I feel like there was more than one. The last time we came through here, I feel like there was more than one like direction you could take this. It wasn't like a linear. Just go around the loop. There was a. A couple of different paths you could take. Alright. So this thing is part poison type. So let's go ahead and Psy Shock. Because at the very least, if we can't count on uh, fire to defeat the. Well, I mean, it's, it's feeding off of the same Wormadam. Let me switch your Pokemon. Um, what is Wormadam? It's just. Is it the grass variant? I guess we'll keep uh, keep going. Yeah, it's the grass variant of where we dam. Okay. All right. Let's throw up a mystical fire. There we go. All righty. I mean, so at least we're we're still able to get through the gym trainers here. I'd be very curious to see how we do against the gym leader. Um, but uh, at least we're not sucking it up against the gym trainers. That would be frightening. We couldn't even defeat it. Alright, so what's up here? Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna be missing stuff from the other direction, but let's just let's just see. Don't wanna miss any free experience here. Experience! Experience! Get your free experience here! Yeah. Alright, to realize our true potential, Pokemon I must become connected on an emotional level. Mega Evolution! Alright, uh, Twiggy sends out Gloom. Alright. Olorin. I'm basically going to use Olorin until he stops being useful because he has not been super useful thus far in the game. Uh, and so if he's gonna, if he, if he can handle it, I'm gonna let him do it. Uh, we, we could switch in a whole ratio and stuff. Um, but, uh, ooh, we didn't kill it. That's okay, though. Uh, we did use Flame Charge. I was, I didn't figure we'd need a ton. Um, so that's okay. And we've got full heals and paralyzed heals and stuff we can use after the battle. So I'm not too worried about it. Even paralyzed with speed boost, we're faster than Gloom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, Gloom goes down. Yeah, I have a feeling this will be Olorin's time to shine in the gym. So just let just let him have his moment. And look how look how insane the ear fluff is now. I was making fun of Fennekin. Uh, <laughs> for how, like how can he hear? But good lord, look at that thing. Ooh, we were paralyzed, huh? Not very effective. Oh no. Oh right, we are paralyzed, but we weren't like fully paralyzed. We can still attack. Awesome. Executors, special stuff fell. Get the flame charge going. Egg bomb. Whoa! At least we didn't get fully paralyzed. Good boy, Olorin. Good job, bud. That'll do. That'll do. Evolution has, t has treated you well. Looks like your Pokemon did something, something, something. Tornor didn't read. Oop -a all right, um, let's go ahead and get paralyzed heal. Yep, let's use that and let's see. Let's go ahead. No, 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 no. Super potion. A super potion here. Gets back in the green. Okay, looking good. Um, we swing over here. What's up here? Okay. Can't 
close to the top, maybe? Oh yeah, we're at the top. Beautiful. That'll do. Okay. Um, okay, so Olorin should be good to go. Let's do this thing, huh? Let's do it. Oh, so you made it clear up here. I'm the gym leader. Ramos is the name. So what'd you think, Whippersnapper? Hey! <laughs> Did you enjoy the garden playground I've made with all these sturdy plants of mine? The strength is a sign of my strength as a gardener and a gym leader. You sure you're up to facing all that? Do it, Whippersnapper. Ramos. All right, you're challenged by leader Ramos. Ramos sends out jump puff. Oh, uh, yeah, we can handle a jump bluff. <laughs> uh, it's, well, I'll save some of that information. I've, I've got to get working on uh, the second episode of Tortimer Top Tens, because uh, I'm, I'm going to go through each region of, of Pokemon or whatever, and uh, jump bluff reminded me, because I've got some embarrassing ones on my Generation 2 list, I think. I actually really like jump bluff and some flora. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I've got to get working on that. I've got to, I've got to finalize. I've got to go back through and finalize my list, and then, uh, and then from there, start doing the drawings and stuff I need for that. Because I probably will end up doing it more or less in the same format as the last episode, but uh, might be some improvements too. Yeah, you live and learn. All right. More potions, right? Beautiful. All right. Jump up and go down. Speed rising. Not bad, not bad. Um, oh man, Olorin's getting OP. Alright, we might switch somebody else in just because of that. Um, although, nah, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let Olorin go. Uh, go, go, yeah, we'll actually leave Olorin on that. I think we should be okay. Level 34, let's throw up the Mystical Fire. Okay. Special attack though. <gasps> oh no 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 no! Oh thank God. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. Olorin, I'm sorry, mate. You got to come out. I know you haven't been super useful up to this point, but I have no intention of letting you die. At this point, in Sherlock. We haven't seen Sherlock since he evolved. Sherlock doesn't have anything particularly useful besides a uh, flying type. Uh, okay, so um, let's go ahead and throw up the sweet kiss. Oh. Go, goat. Yeah, damage by recoil. So cool. There we go. But yeah, I desperately need to find that mover and learner guy. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up as soon as I finish recording here, probably. Um, because yeah, it, it turns out Sherlock's not going to learn a single other useful. Well, even even if we hadn't evolved him, he wasn't going to learn a single other useful move. Um, so yeah, there we go. Extra sensory. I'm actually surprised that Sherlock is outspeeding Go Go. I wouldn't have expected Sherlock to have that great of a uh, speed. Oh, hyper potion again, you monster. That's right. That's right. We'll make it work. Ooh, that's actually terrible. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Who could I switch in? I could bring in Klungar and Mega Ball. Let's do that. He's confused. Like, is this an opening enough? Let's bring in Klungar. And we can get the Mega Evolution going. And uh, throw up some finish shocks at the grass type Pokemon. That should be good. They won't be able to break that wall, I wouldn't think. Um, Alright, go go hit itself in the face. Alright, um Mega Evolution and Venishock. Easy mode. <laughs> okay. I think regular Klungar could have handled it, so don't think me too cheaty for using Mega Evolution. <laughs> I think regular Klungar could have handled it just fine. I learned gain experience, you're like gain experience, you're like green to level 37. Nice. That doesn't end Weeping Bell, will you switch your Pokemon? Um. Uh, 
Uh, so the poison, the Vinishak will be neutral. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and bring in Horatio. Let Horatio finish this off. I think he only had three Pokemon, right? Which I still, I still to this day complain about. You guys know my stance on the story mode gym leaders and how I'm kind of disappointed in them in general. Yeah, boy, ratio. One shot. Nice. That'll work. You should gain experience. Okay. Yeah, only three Pokemon. Should have more, but whatever. Um, okay, so we beat a Ramos and his grass type Pokemon. You believe in your Pokemon, and they believe in you too. Mighty Oaks from Acorns Grow. Go on then, you've earned it. Here's your plant badge, Sprout. Alright, plant badge. They really were creative in this generation, weren't they? <laughs> you ever see the plant badge from Rainbows? If you give yourself a plant badge, then you can use each and fly even when not battling. It's a real boon. Pokemon up level 60 will listen to you too easy. Listen to you too easy as falling off a log, even if you got them from a trade. Here, have this too. Might as well make hay while the sun shines. Wow. All the... <laughs> all the puns. Uh, that TM there is for grass knots. You can use it to trip your opponent up in the grass. Heavier the opponent, the harder it'll fall. The more it'll hurt. Ain't it a marvel? Frail little blades of grass can break even tough concrete even. I can't help admiring that strength. Okay, and he actually just reminded me of something. Um... Here I am whining about Sherlock and not being capable of learning any stab, but um, uh, Sycamore just gave us the HM Fly, which we, uh, who can learn it? Sherlock can learn it. Interesting. Oleron can learn it. Interesting. It is a, f oh no, it's a special attack. Ooh. In fact, let's do that. Let's just, let's boot it up. Uh, let's teach this to Oleron instead of, um, instead of, uh, Flame Charge for now. That'd be good. Get a little bit of, a little bit of coverage there. Won't hurt. I don't think, uh, I trust Oleron's defenses or attack enough to, oh, to actually uh, leave him in to use that for coverage's sake. But if time ever comes where he needs to... Um, he'll have it. Alright, so let's teach Fly to Sherlock here. Um, Exercetsory Yawn, Sweet Kiss. I'm probably more likely at this point to use Sweet Kiss. I think Confusion will be more useful. And we have Sleep Powder on Klungar still, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Yawn. And if we ever need to go and get to the move relearner and reteach a Yawn, we can do that. <clears throat> Probably. I don't know what items. Generally speaking, in later generations, the move relearners have all been like, bring me a heart scale or something, and I'll reteach a Pokemon a move. And it's like, well, there's like one of those in the game, so that's not useful to me. But um, I'll look it up and we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, guys, there we go. So badge number four in pretty quick succession there. Um... Not, not too long ago, we were just getting badge number three from Karina, like two episodes back, so that works. Uh, game, The pace of the game is weird, though. Like, the beginning of the game is pretty slow. It takes you forever to get to badge, like, number two. Uh, but then I think I, re I remember from the blind run, it's like, then, like, every other episode, it's a gym badge. Or, like, I think even last time I might have had, like, two gym battles in one episode or something. I'd have to go back and look at that, but I feel like that happened at some point. That may have not have been in Pokemon X, but... I feel like I'm remembering that it was. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Badge number four, as well as we finally got our starter evolved and uh, our final, tra our other transfer evolved. So both Sherlock and Olaron evolving this episode, all kinds of updates to the sidebar. Basically, at this point, we need to find a Dusk Stone for Ray and uh, and just keep grinding up Horatio. Um, and uh, then everybody on the team will be will be evolved. And, oh, hollow clip received. Oh, what is this madness? Lissandre. Professor Sycamore told me you can help me yield my evolution. That is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. We can't just cover up the old filth with new filth. I implore you to consider what we need to do to change the world in a new beautiful world. What? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. And I'll see you all back here next time on the Hicksat Lock.
Alrighty guys, have a good one.